Hey there, Internet friends. Trevor Starkey here with another episode of what I've been playing. And pretty much all week I've been playing God of War. So this is going to be kind of spoiler-free, definitely spoiler-free, um, kind of initial impressions of the game. I haven't finished it yet. Um, hopefully I will kind of be able to wrap it up this week and put together like a formal review uh, for next week's Tuesday episode. Um, but uh, kind of preliminary impressions, and I'm, I'm I think, nearing the end of the game. Um this game, uh, uh, you know, in 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 the same kind of style of some of the other God of War games, does kind of feature like Metroidvania elements where you uh, you kind of get new abilities that help open up other areas that you will revisit and kind of uh, uh, kind of proceed through. And so, um, I believe I've kind of acquired most of the uh, most of, if not all of the like you can progress through these areas now. Um, I think I've gotten all of that, so I think I'm nearing the end game uh, of, of the game, but I definitely don't know how much more time I have left. And, and one of the things I've absolutely loved about playing this game is that um, I didn't, I don't know, you know, too much that's out there. I, I didn't know, you know, like I am being surprised by the game. That is a truly delight, and I'm not typically a like, oh, spoilers are terrible kind of guy. I am very much... I think I've talked about it in multiple videos uh, over over the time um, that I you know I think games and movies and stories in general are more than one moment um, that can be spoiled by you know some dick on Twitter or something like that. But um, there is some joy to be found in you know coming in and 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 being surprised by something, being pleasantly surprised and and kind of enjoying that. Um, so I'm I'm very much enjoying that. Um, I am like I think the the combat is a ton of fun. I I was talking to a friend earlier, and this game does very much kind of check a lot of the same boxes that Horizon Zero Dawn did for me last year, in that combat always feels fun in this game. It always feels um, tight and, and responsive and does the things that I want it to do. Um, there are, you know, I will, I've, I've gone into battles... Um, and I've been so close, and I'm like, next time I'll get it, or something like that, um, uh, a lot. And very, very rarely do I feel like I've been cheated. Um, uh, there are definitely some where I'm like, okay, I am not, like, some side things where I'm like, I'm not ready to do this yet, so I'm going to, you know, back away and, and, uh, and kind of progress through the game a little bit more and get stronger and, and whatnot, um, before attempting those things again, but... Um, the world design is great. The the aesthetic of the game is beautiful and vibrant and colorful, and uh, the the interplay between uh, Kratos and Atreus, the the boy, um, is wonderful and surprising me. And that like I was playing through it yesterday and like was crying about not not crying but like tearing up about um, Kratos as a character and kind of his journey in this game in a way that I was like. Well, if you'd, if you'd asked me, you know, five years ago if I would ever cry at a, uh, a God of War game or a Kratos story, I would have never blinked and I would have thought you were crazy, that kind of stuff. So, um, so like, kudos to kind of the story they're telling. Um, and, yeah, like, the, the, the jump from kind of the Greek setting to now this new Norse uh, mythology setting is, is just, like, a great reinvigoration and great kind of way to relaunch God of War in a, in a very kind of interesting and compelling way. So I'm having a ton of fun with it. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying really all of my time with it, um, and, and I've enjoyed kind of the journey and the side things that I can kind of explore and, and all that stuff. So um, uh, I you know hope you are as well. Those of you who have finished it, I hope you've enjoyed it and it's been incredibly satisfying. Um, I look forward to finishing it myself and, uh, and joining those ranks um, and then maybe just continuing to play it because I mean I'm, I'm definitely going to I imagine continue playing it after I beat the game to go and do more of the side things and kind of you know 100% the game because there is just so much fun to be had out there and um, there have been so many great big moments and and you know in God of War fashion but you know a, a different spin on the God of War big epic set piece moments um, but still, I've, I've had a great time with it, so uh, I look forward to, uh, like, finishing editing this video and then going and playing some more of it for, uh, you know, another hour or two tonight. So those are my spoiler-free preliminary impressions of God of War. Uh, let me know 
please, no spoilers, what you're thinking about the game in the comments below. Uh, as always, I've been your host, Trevor Starkey from trevortrove.com. I should be back again next week with a full kind of review, a formal review. Um, again, I'll probably stay spoiler-free in that as well, because there is just so much joy to be found in the surprises of this game that I wouldn't want to kind of take that away from anybody else either. Um, but as always, you can follow me at Snarky Starkey on Twitter. And until next time, from here at the Trove, treasure your friends.